Show. Action! All right, so this is a stylized tree show here. This is uh, not realistic. Kind of a cool style, though. Nathan O's gonna be a good guy. Um, so the color-wise, um, trees in general, people make them always like too brown. Um, but this, though, will kind of use a little bit of the raw umber. And when you put the raw umber on, what you'll notice is it's kind of thin a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna do two different things here. I'm gonna do more of the burnt umber on the highlight side, which is like a warmer color. On the other side, the shadow side, I'll use raw umber. So burnt umber over here. And like I said, it's kind of a thin color, so it normally takes like a few layers of this to make it uh, okay. Normally you do like a lot of small brush strokes that go in different directions. With trees, so you want to go more vertical all along the lines of whatever you have. So here, I'm going to do the clean up edge. So to get a clean edge on something, whether it's a hill or a tree, you want to push up into the line. So don't go like this. Definitely don't paint like that. If you push up into the line, though, you're going to get a nice clean edge that will be pretty sparkly. Sparkly clean. And then following that line, coming all the way down there. All right, so now I got my raw umber base, and I'll come back in with another layer of paint. And then these are like two smaller strokes, oddly enough, so I'm gonna come in here, make them a little bit longer. And with Nathan Oda, he does like longer streaks, less brush strokes, so it's even okay if you go all the way down. Smaller streaks there, and now I'll add a little black to it. I'll make it even darker. So normally I try to go a little bit too dark at first. Take a little more black, raw umber. And then using, so instead of going like sideways like this, if you turn your brush a little bit diagonal, um, it'll be cleaner lines. And I'm not adding any water to the paint, uh, just uh, like fresh paint though. All right, so I'll go over all of this. One layer, so this is a base coat. Switch to my uh, burnt umber again. Diagonal brush strokes. And so I don't want the paint to build up too much though, so I'm gonna uh, take water, get a little bit of water on the brush, not too much though. And then uh, even more raw umber on this side. So I don't want it to look like chocolate. And if this is a realistic tree, I would even try to make it more gray. And if you're doing like, uh, tree texture, what have you. Um, you can even use blue and gray, and for the uh, tree bark, it'll look pretty good. All right, so this is the first layer of paint. And I'll use a little bit of white to get more of a tint. Also, the white will kind of gray it out a little more. So right now, I'm gonna come over here, a little bit of white, not like tons of it, all right, so this is all for one coat. All right, so then you should let that dry. If this wasn't a magic show, let it dry totally. And then after you have this layer done, you're gonna mix up a tint of the color again, and you'll start adding lighter, lighter values to it. And at first, I'm not gonna go like too light though, so I'm gonna test it out. That contrast is pretty good. So I'll come in here with a small, bright brush, and lightly draw the lines down there. So these lines are gonna be kind of independent. They're not gonna cross each other. And I'll take, smooth it out just a little bit. And then uh, another little tint, add more white to it. So it's like a tint of the color. And then I'll keep adding more and more highlights on top of it. So oh, each layer is gonna be a, like a little bit lighter than the last layer. And if you want the lines to be even more narrow, uh, take the brush, melt the kitten a little bit so it's skinnier lines. Hold the brush a little further back. And then this layer will keep going on. Slowly building it up more and more layers on top of each other. Then after we do this, I'll let that dry. Pretends. Now we have a good base on there where we can start seeing some of the texture. Um, so then what I'll do is I'll come back in and add even a tint a little bit lighter. So keep that as it is. Could even go a little bit darker on that even. 
I'll go a little bit of a glaze, thinner paint, a little more brown, and I'll take this thing and I'll add some darker groups. So it's all just like simple brush strokes. Hold in the brush further back. And on the back side of the tree, this could almost be one value. He has what's called secondary highlights, which are kind of cool. So the darkest part of the tree is not necessarily all the way to the edge, kind of like an arc one when you shade it in a cylinder. And then I'll come back in here with this. Some darker grooves. Get in the contrast in there. Now dip it back into more paint. And clean up these edges. Skinny lines. Itty bitty skinny lines. All right, so now I have like some of these basic lines and as they come up for the branches you'll follow your brush strokes going up there a little bit uh, now what I'll do is I'll take some uh, tint of the color again a little raw umber a little white then just on the highlight side so not on the, the whole thing you're gonna add the brighter highlights to only the medium highlights if that makes sense so you don't want to put the bright highlights on the darker areas come in here just a little bit, a little bit there, a little bit here, not over the whole thing now. And even on the very edge. All right, so now I'll start to curve and turn a little bit. Um, then I'll take even a brighter white, so I'll add a little more tint to it, and start getting that to come in there. So a little bit here, a little brighter highlight on this thing, Small highlights so you can see where it's bending. It's kind of like painting hair, sort of. <clears throat> now you're starting to see that reflection. Now it's starting to bend around a little bit. Another little bright highlight. Subtle. So it's all about the layers of paints. <clears throat> then if you wanted to make this more subtle, you could go over that with a glaze. And we showed you what a glaze was in the last little video where we did the uh, small lines. So this is another layer that's done. Technically, that could be done for uh, for now. However, I'm going to go back into it with even a little darker glazes. I'll go like a little more glaze over the entire thing. So instead of going this direction, I'm going to turn the brush this direction, coat it with a thin layer of paint to get that a little more subtle. Now you don't see as much texture on there, so it's going to be a little, little cleaner. Same thing here, a little more diagonal. Such a there. I'll zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. But um, and that's more or less the Nathan Oda style, except um, whatever colors you have in there. If you wanted to add a little more blue to it after it totally dries, you can go out of the glaze and get some accent colors. And Nathan Oda, he even used like a little bit of green. So you could even go over that with a little bit of green to show that the reflection of the hills coming back up on the tree. All right. Yeah, so the green would be a glaze on top of that. And if it's totally dry, I'll show you. All right, that's Nathan Oda, part one.